What's that over there? This? Yeah. Um, that is. Johnson's. That's some talcum powder. Okay. Uh, these are the traps. Uh, well, when the bugs go in here, uh -huh. uh, I'm going to put a slight coat of this inside so that the uh, bed bug gets some uh, talcum on him okay. and he'll become slippery. He won't be able to climb out of this trap. Now, these items are for uh, creating the CO2 mixture to attract uh, the bed bugs. Okay. Uh, the bed bugs' downfall is they can't climb on slippery surfaces. Now to make the, the CO2 mixture, um, we need uh, lukewarm water and it's kind of tricky because we don't want hot water and we don't want water to be too warm. We don't want it to be cold, we just kind of want it comfortable warm like it's almost time to get out of the bath. Okay. <laughs> So I just keep checking that to make sure that feels okay. It's just kind of a guessing game. A little, little bit warmer than your hand, maybe. Okay, I'm using this jar because it is a, uh, it's a half a gallon. It's two quarts. So the solution is made with two quarts of water. Okay. That's the thirst of one there, huh? Yeah, that's the water we're quenching our thirst with. <laughs> okay, the first thing I want to do so we can get this going is we need to uh, uh, kickstart the uh, yeast. To, to kickstart the yeast, we use uh, six ounces of water lukewarm water same stuff so um, I'm just below oh well, that's a half mm -hmm. that's a pint so six ounces is a little less than half a cup so it's the smallest amount you know yeah so there about a half a cup okay this is a teaspoon measurer So we put one uh, tablespoon, I'm sorry, one tablespoon of granulated sugar. And this is the kickstart solution. You can see what this is, back to dry yeast. Not hard to find in your bakery section. So pour that in there. Good thing about a mixing jar is you can just shake it up. Go like that, yeah. So there's no question about how much time you spend stirring. We're just shake the hell out of it. <laughs> okay, now um, this is going to take about 10 minutes to activate, and that's why I'm getting that started because we're going to uh, start working on our mechanical part of our trap. And you'll see how this foams up. Have you ever seen that happen? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got a, some quarter inch vinyl hose here. And I'm pretty sure that these are going to be the right lengths we need for our bottles. Uh, this is the key uh, aspect of the trap is we want the bed bugs to not be able to climb out of here but we want them to be able to get in without any problem so what I'm putting on here is athletic tape it's kind of like cloth so they can get a good grip to crawl at the side and I'm just going to take this right up to the edge so that bed bugs going to feel comfortable with crossing over into the point of no return. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, 
Oh yeah, I got it right up to the rear. That is athletic tape on the outside and I'm pretty sure if I was in there and a bed bug wanted to get to me, he would. And these bed bugs also, they kind of communicate with each other through chemical smells, kind of like ants make ant trails. Mm -hmm. So if a bed bug uh, picks up on this really good scent, you know, he may lay down a trail for the other bugs to follow him in, saying, come on, the party's here. <laughs> bed bug once in there he'll make it in. You can use any size bottle, bigger or smaller, but the, the important thing with the uh, yeast is that it's the right mixture. So, um, you know, if I wanted to make one trap, I'd put my mixture in this bottle and just throw the rest out. I wouldn't try to like mess with the mix. <laughs> Got this drill bit. It's just slightly smaller than this so, pretty sure that's just about the right size hole. You can make a hole any way you like, but I want to make a nice perfect round hole. Quick and efficient. I'm just going to cut this thing in a sharp angle. I can thread it through easily. Just cut that like this. There. This is a pretty good tight post. There. are attached to our caps. Okay. The rest of our solution, uh, this is the igniter and this is uh, uh, our yeast happy land. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting them started over here and then we're going to dump them in here. So the happy land mixture takes two cups Again, since we got a shaker jar, we can just mix the heck out of it. There's a little bit of foam growing there on top of there. I don't know what the time is. I think it takes about 10 minutes to do that. So, while our chemical bases are sitting up here. I can explain this quickly. I'm gonna fill these bottles. I got a funnel right here to just about two inches below the top. And while the yeast is swimming around in Happy Land, they're gonna be creating CO2, which uh, bed bugs are really attracted to. They're gonna think there's a sleeping person there. Now, when I put this top on here, the gas is gonna travel through this straw. with this rubber band you see. Mm -hmm. So when I get down to the final moment I'll make sure this is all straight. Now our bottle is just simply going to set in our trap. With this hose just below the rim. 
Now CO2 gas is heavier than oxygen, so this little reservoir here is just going to fill up with CO2 gas, which is going to be very attractive to the bed bugs. And um, if you could see it, you'd probably see a fog, you know, like a, a misty fog floating around, and it's probably going to be spilling over a little bit. And that's going to be an attractant for our little critters to climb up in here and drop in here. Okay. Where uh, we're going to have a slight mixture of powder down here to get them powdered up just to make sure that they can't climb up the bottle or out of the trap. Uh, one thing we'll be watching for with this thing sitting in here is not to be too close to the edge you know, if you move it around or anything. Mm -hmm. And that the straw doesn't reach the bottom either. So we're just literally trapping them inside that area. And it makes it serviceable too, because um, if you have it in a location that doesn't seem to be too productive, you can just easily pick it up and move it. You can pull your bottle out, look in there and see how many you've got. Of course, you'll be flushing them in the toilet immediately if you have a bunch. Unless you want to do evil experiments on them. <laughs> no, they, no evil experiments being done. Uh, this uh, CO2 mixture lasts two to three weeks. So this is going to be a long-term working trap, you know. Okay. So, you know, it's like you just set it and forget it. <laughs> These boxes are to cover our trap with so that it has some privacy. Uh, there's two things that are not good for the trap. That would be a drafty area because it would blow the CO2 out of the reservoir and also sunlight will kill the yeast mixture. Okay. So this box is going to give it a, a safe harboring place where it will keep the wind off and it'll keep the light out so it'll last a long time and it'll give those bed bugs a, a feeling of privacy so they won't hesitate <laughs> join the party you know? now this is a pretty good heavy box you know this is if you set this in the corner, or in the closet, or in the bathroom, or wherever you think you're having a problem, you know, this, this should hold together. I'm cutting these handles out to give some ventilation holes. Because why the CO2 mixture is wafting out of the reservoir, It'll kind of also be coming right here to where, you know, it's saying, the party's in here. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I want this to be dry powder. Uh, another thing with the powder, I was considering uh, like a insecticide type powder or, um, you know, something dangerous for them. Um, but I don't want anything in this dish that's going to tell them not to come. And I, was, I couldn't really find, I went to the dollar store to get a lot of these parts and I couldn't really find any powder that didn't have any scent. And it really got me thinking, you know, if something had menthol or lavender or something, something that bug bugs didn't like, it would undermine, you know, what we're trying to do here. So um, I got this Shamo Mile, I don't know, what, that is, but I think if I rubbed this all over my body and went to sleep, I don't think it would stop bed bugs. <laughs> so, so I think uh, this powder may be okay for our uh, pitfalls. I'm just rubbing this really good so that I make sure it's a good slick surface they can't climb up. Well, we got a frothy head. Water's only this high, the frothy head's about that high, so it looks to me like it's done what it's supposed to. And I'm actually going to 
put this lid back on here and stir this up again so we get it all all the good times I thought I left enough room for sugar but this thing's really full and this is where we want to mix it so I'm going to pour out about that much so all of this will fit in there Make sure this is all doing what it's supposed to. This is two quarts of CO2 solution. like I almost got this perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> These things are already cranking out CO2 gas. Alright. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some baby powder. I guess you can find some baby powder without scent, but this is what I've got. I would have got cornstarch, but they didn't have it. Oh, that's a shocker. Yeah, that is a shocker. Well, I was at the dollar store. So. They had flour. This stuff does kind of have an odor. I, I hope it's not detrimental to our efforts. But if there's bed bugs in the area, and if the bed bugs are hungry, they're going in there, and they're not coming out. <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, damn good thing. Put a tie on top. Another one on the bottom. set this right there and as you can see that hose is just below the top rim so it's already starting to fill that uh, pit ball with CO2 gas There, it's just below the rim. It's dropping CO2 gas down in there right now. So those traps are ready. And I'll cut my other box like this. And when we find our place to put it, we'll set these boxes just like that. And that, my friends, will corral the enemy. <laughs>